The next step of the triphasic training uh, range supply metric methods, uh, just actually to reiterate on the last video, one of the methods that I forgot to add to this number one uh, on the bottom range, this, this first range zone, was the AFSM method. I call it the antagonistic facilitated specialized method. And where that stemmed from was, it, it was uh, came out of super training, but Medyev was uh, one of the first researchers to talk about it, and that was the fastest athletes learn to relax their muscles, or, or the best athletes relax their muscles the fastest, which talks about co-contraction and the various concepts of that. But the AFSM method was a method that I would use to take my athletes and have them pull themselves into position when they do these plyometrics. So the theory is, is that you're actually standing here ready to do a plyometrics and, and you're using your hip flexors and your hamstrings to pull yourself down as fast as possible. My athletes will be standing there, maybe even lose, lose contact with the ground, smack themselves deep and then what happens is they, as soon as they touch the ground, they explode their quads and glutes to fire up. And what you're doing is teaching the uh, muscles to turn on and off at a much faster rate. Uh, other people term that various things. I just called it that. Um, before I read what they, they uh, had wrote, I knew that this was an important thing. I actually got it from um, Mel Siff. Him and I had a long conversation. Uh, he, he was the author of Super Training Him and, and Yuri Verkashansky. But these, this method spurred from my conversations with him. It, we actually diverted it to PNF patterns, but I knew that PNF wasn't really sport specific enough, and I wanted to do it at a high speed uh, rate and very sport specific, so I kind of termed it the AFSM method. Now, the next method, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about in these, uh, these concepts are what you can do with the various methods here, and that is with all these plyometrics, you can use the body weight load. Okay, so each one of these, you can just use your body weight. And then with body weight, you could do rebounds, you can do pause, you can do metabolic jumping. You can't do the thrusting in one, but the thrusting could be done in two. And the body weight with AFSM method can be done in all three. Now, the next one is obviously loaded, where you could use 10 to 20 uh, percent of the body weight, you can even do more, but you can do loaded, plyometrics, you can use the rebound uh, method, you can use pause, you can use metabolic jumping, which is probably optimal with the loaded if you're going to do it. Um, in the top two, you could do thrust method, and you can do the ASFM loaded also. Um, the unloading method or the accelerated bands, just to cover what they are, basically that's hooking bands to the top of the ceiling, about six. 10, the, the normal kind of uh, bands that are about, I think they're 42 to 48 inches long, and I hook them at 10, 10 feet, six inches high. Um, I hook them to 11 feet high. There's, there's triphasic barn, or uh, bars out there, the triphasic band attachments on racks if you want to search them. There's companies that build those. I know Sornex is one. Um, we hook those up so you're de-loading the body so that people can accelerate. And now this deloading you can also do with the rebound method, you can do pause method, you can do a metabolic method, you can do thrust again with these top two, you can do the AFSM method with this. Now, the next one are hyper method or banded. And I believe I have a hex banded um, drop jump on my YouTube channel, which is a very effective uh, especially get into the deep end of these two. So what you do is you hook bands to the floor. I like to do it with a hex deadlift. Um, people, I think people have even hooked bands on their shoulders where you use that to pull yourself down into position, which you can do the rebound, you can do it with a pause, you can do metabolic, um, you can do thrust with the ends, and also AFSM method. So um, this is just all the concepts and you got to understand there's there's all these variables with each of these what I'll do is I'll probably take you through the next videos and show you how to interact these together okay um, 